Hey, I'm Tyler. And I'm Jessica, and we're Escondido. We live in Nashville. Uh, and um, yeah, we do Western desert music. Some people say desert sex or desert rock. Okay. Well, I get like the outfits match that. <laughs> so, um, you said you have some stories about Birmingham. Obviously, you performed here before. So, yeah. tell us about that. Well, we've played a number of venues here, uh, like Workplay, and, and uh, we played at Good People. Yeah. One of our first shows is at Good People uh, really? Brewery here. Yeah. Uh, but our very first show, which was accidental, was in Birmingham because I was uh, still a solo artist at the time, and I was playing a friend's loft downtown uh, on the top floor, and Jessica came with me because my car broke down, and we had just started our band. And so she's like, well, you can take my car, I'll come with you. I said to go to like Baton Rouge in here. Yeah. And then I kind of, I wanted to play the songs we had been working on more than I wanted to play my own music, uh -huh. and I liked it better, so that ended up becoming our first ever Escondido show. Uh -huh. Really before you even told anybody we were a band or yeah. announced that we were trying to start a new project or something. That's great. Crazy. Yeah. I'm glad Birmingham could be part of that. Well, it's the South, too. We feel like this, like all these cities need to stick together, the Nashville, Atlanta, and yeah. this whole area is such a cool, has such a great vibe to it. And well, and it's so that. close to Nashville, too. Yeah. And and it really, I mean, the first night we played, it was really cool. It was yeah. like in a loft, and like he said, yeah. um, it was just like a, I don't know, I have nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> we talk we have, and there's also a lot of uh, people that live in Nashville that are from here. I feel uh -huh. like Nashville steals a lot of great musicians from here because we've Kinda had a true. number of guitar players, a number of drummers, a lot of people that are entertainment lawyer for a long time. Anyone, they'd all come from Birmingham really? to Nashville, so yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> We've heard though that it's kind of reversing now. Like it used yeah. to be a flood out of Birmingham to Nashville, and now people are coming back to Birmingham. Yeah. A little more yeah. people live. It's not as saturated. Yeah. As yeah. I think it's going to be more of that, to be honest. Yeah. I think that. I mean, it's probably going to. Everyone's going to be sick of Nashville and come to Birmingham. So. Yeah. You never know. Maybe we'll move to Birmingham. Maybe. <laughs> we would love that. <laughs> Is it hotter here than even Nashville? I don't know. I grew up in the Midwest where it's so freezing, so that to like have, these hot summers are tough, but like to, because of it, we have very mild winters. Yeah. So I'd much prefer the South because you don't have this horrible six months of winter. Right. And yeah. yeah. Very mild in it. Yeah. So, yeah. How do you feel the music scene in Birmingham compared to Nashville? I've got some friends. I have a number of friends. My friend Caleb has a venue here. I have a number of friends that are like, I feel like. There's so many people in Nashville doing music that um, it's like you assume everybody is doing the same thing. And in Birmingham, you're a little more unique here doing music. And so it's room for people that are really serious about it to grow and yeah. take advantage of um, their unique town and really capitalize on that and become more of a presence. Maybe it's a little easier to do something maybe important here. I think there's a lot of talent in this town and they might be able to stick out more than Nashville. Yeah. So if I were, you know, a talented musician, I would stay in Birmingham and yeah. don't leave. Word of well, advice. Well, the food scene here is a lot, is a lot better, I've yeah. heard. I mean, yeah. it's like there's more... And the something. support system. I mean, like, Birmingham Mountain Radio and yeah. you guys, like, everyone's just really supportive here, and that's rare to find. It's, really? like, super rare. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. So. Yeah. So what other venues have you performed at here? Yeah, we've played work play a couple times, we've played good people. We've never there's a number of new venues here. Right. Ironworks, right? Iron City. Iron City. And so we're looking we forward to We played here. Yeah. We played, we played uh, at, underneath the water tower yeah, here. Yeah, we did like, a great show. It was super wow. fun. It wasn't yeah. Sloss Fest, but it was related to Sloss the So this is yeah. probably our fifth time playing here and uh, you know, some of them have been big, some of them have been not big. Yeah. But we've always enjoyed it and we have a lot of close friends here and so it's a, it definitely feels like a sister city to Nashville. That's it, yeah. So what are some of your favorite restaurants here? Oh my gosh. Um, we, had, we haven't really I experienced much. <laughs> I liked good people drinking the beer. Yeah, we yeah. went with Reg we once really to... Uh, um, where did we go? A Mexican restaurant. Oh, wow. um, what no, was it? Was a, it was a venue that we also had too. What's it called? I don't know. It's like I the competition know. to work by a little smaller. Fire city no. Know, but it's a... Uh, I don't know. Oh, Rose? I'm failing. It doesn't. Reg, where did we go eat that one time? 
We like met you at like a venue, Bottle Tree. Oh, Bottle, Bottle Tree. Bottle Tree. Is that still around? No, it oh. closed a couple years ago. Okay, well we ate there. We ate there. Yeah. yeah. Bottle Tree. R.I.P. Yeah. Bottle Tree. It's now kind of like this new venue called Saturn. Okay, cool. Oh, same location? No, so it's a different location, but it's by one of the owners of Bottle Tree. Okay, okay. Ryan Teasley. Okay. So he knows what he's doing, and it's been a really great venue. Help the music team here a lot. That's so cool. cool. So. We should book it. We'll tell our agent about it. I'm sure he already knows. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. We'll talk to our people. You talk to your people. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's been your favorite part of traveling around and playing shows in different cities? I feel like that alone, just like being able to experience the food and the culture and the communities of different places that we've been. But we're about to go, I think we... We're about to go to St. Bart's and play in like, you know, little islands. So we feel really fortunate that we're able to do that. And um, I don't know, I mean, it's gonna, we're playing like a hotel lounge, you know, but you know what, who cares? We're playing music, it yeah. doesn't matter. I love, I love travel. I've done two for like 15 years and I still like, when I'm home for more than a month, I get restless. And so for me, it's more about just the, the drives, the sights, like seeing beautiful places in the United States, meeting new people every night, going out afterwards to whatever random bar people are going to. Yeah. Um, but you I know, the, the shows, the shows, you know, the shows are important, and the, the having a great concert and connecting with people is important to us. But I think, like years later, you look back, you think about it more of a vacation than you did yeah. the actual like playing a show part of it. Right. For me, anyways. Yeah. But I noticed too that like everyone, we're all the same, no matter where we live or what we grow up in, at the end of the day we're all like experiencing kind of the same emotions and we're all the same, we're the same people. So I, I like that about traveling. Yeah, you find, out you find a common more. theme yeah. in everyone. You just find out you're so yeah, similar. Yeah, totally. So. And that's, I, I find that really cool. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so you guys, are you spending the whole weekend here? Yeah, we got in yesterday afternoon yeah. uh, and we saw you know, Death Cab, Ryan Adams, Ben Harper, Washed yeah. Out. Uh, Washed Out was so good. Yeah, so it's it's really awesome. Good. Group love. Yeah. I love. I mean, Ryan Adams, like, I don't know what, I, I just really like his music. And I, I mean, I grew up, I was in, you know, college and, you know, started in 2000, so that was happening right when I was starting to play music. Yeah. And he's like, it represents everything I like about music. And, yeah. you know, as time progresses, some people, maybe it's not cool to like certain bands like Death Cab or Ryan Adams, but I say screw that. They make great records, yeah. they, they put on great shows. Tyler was uh, singing all the songs. I sing all the songs. It was really good. I had a few drinks too, so. Uh, As you should. I saw you dancing. <laughs> yeah. So, how does this, have you played other festivals before? How does this work? Like yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I love this because this is like, it's not like a tiny festival, but it's not this mega festival at like Coachella or Bonnaroo or Lollapalooza. Yeah. So, it's more manageable. You, can, you really only have three choices. Um, like Telluride, we play some festivals there where it's just one stage. You yeah. just sit there and whatever they put in front of you. And that's great. So it's nice to have some choices here. But I think they care a lot here about the aesthetic and supporting local artists. Yeah. So there's all the booths are great. There's local people making ironwork stuff here. Um, I love the, the banners you have. It's just, there's just such a sense of history. And you guys here, embrace, this festival embraces the history of Birmingham. Yeah. Almost like markets it in a more accessible way that everyone can understand. Yeah. And I love that it has a southern vibe to it, the bands. They both they have yeah, some hit too. bands, like Group Love is obviously a hit, like more modern band, but I love how most of the bands have some ties to the yeah. south. I agree, yeah. I agree with, yeah. It's really, I don't know, and like I said, community is important. So you can really see that here. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted this to be more of like a cultural festival. Yeah, too, it really so is. They had some barbecue yeah. last night. Yeah, oh my gosh. That's yeah. in Miller Light, Wait, a local group. Yeah. We have Jim and Nick's barbecue. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hattie B's is here. That's nice. Hattie oh, really? B's? Yeah. No they way. Here, actually. Oh my gosh. Oh, so, well, it's hopping. Can't in wait Nashville. to have my People mouth on fire. I, know. <laughs> I was like, I do not want to eat hot chicken in this heat. <laughs> well, that, that's our no new, that's our version of Philly cheesesteak now, like in Nashville. Yeah. It's like totally. Nashville hot chicken's a flavor now. Right. We took to live so with true. it.